What's up, gang? Welcome back to Trenches Politics TV. We know you definitely politics in front of trenches. Make sure y'all take a second and please hit that like button, subscribe, share the video. I also set your notification and drop a comment to the situation. It's been a long time, but we know we're back. Uh, definitely had to bring y'all this new body cam footage. It shows Sonya Massey talking to police officer 16 hours just before her death. It's wild. So, newly released police body cameras footage shows Sonya Massey interacting with the police officers 16 hours just before she was fatally shot in her Illinois home on July 6, when deputies responded to her 911 call of a suspected prowler. Damn, that's crazy. Make sure y'all get them likes up. Let's go. shows the Illinois mother interacting with police just hours before he shot the body cam footage in the Sonia Massey case, which shows the Illinois mother interacting with police just hours before he shot in her home. Trevor Bald is here with the story. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, George. So we've, of course, seen that disturbing body camera footage where she was shot to death in her own kitchen by an out former police officer. But this is new footage from the day before in which her mother called 911 saying Sonia was having a mental health episode. New footage from the day before and her mother called and said she was having health issues. So I wonder if that has a difference to play in effect. What do y'all think? Episode. And even then, her mother begged them not to hurt her daughter. And her mother begged them not to hurt her daughter. How you doing, ma'am? What's your name? This morning, newly released footage showing Sonia Massey 16 hours before she was fatally shot on July 6th at her home outside Springfield, Illinois. She's talking to the police. 16 hours before i wonder if these are the same are these the same police officers that's what i want to know boy i don't know what to do and this even if it ain't the same police officers they should still have some type of record of it of her talking to them just hours before and her mother talking to them hours before letting them know that she has some type of mental illness New body cam video obtained by our ABC affiliate WICS. Massey is seen interacting with police, explaining she was worried about her children. Police explaining she was worried about her children. I don't know where they at. I think they are mommy. No, they're, they're at their dad's house. So she was already talking to the police about her own life situations, talking about her children. And they knew about her children and everything enough to say that they were at their dad's house, but they didn't know about her enough to know that she had a mental illness. Something ain't sounding right about the situation. Even if she did throw the pie down, she was already excused for being mental illness. Do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think about the situation. Do y'all feel like the cops should still did whatever he did because she was throwing the pie or meant to grab the pot or whatever you know what i mean allegedly that's all put in there they're worried about you too everybody just wants you to be okay that's all it is over the course of the roughly 45 minute video massey is sitting in her car upset over her family as well as the lights and water being turned off at her home when i got home i got no hot water i got no lights i had to throw away all the food you calling today to get that fixed you said they got my phone. At one point. So she was calling and, and saying that she didn't have no hot water or no lights or anything. So for her to go out because they was in threat about her having hot water and scared that they was gonna throw it on her or something like that allegedly. That seems kinda that seems kinda strange and weird. I don't know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Get in them comments, let me know what y'all think, man. I ain't been here in a while, but I'm back. You feel me? We know we definitely piled taking from the trenches. But uh New footage released of Sonya Massey 16 hours before the fatal shooting of the police that shows that she had a conversation with the police enough, even to the point where her mom was talking and telling them, warning, her, warning them, saying that she has a, a mental, that her daughter has a mental illness. But she's calling, telling them, have a con whole conversation about her children and everything, saying that they was with her baby dad. Well, she didn't say that, but the cops said that. So they that shows that they had to know her enough to know that she has something. She confirmed she'd been taking her medicine when asked about it by officers. When's the last time you took your medicine? It's right now, last night. On and, July 5th, and the officers asked her, did she take her medicine? Massey's mother, Donna, called 911, saying Sonia was heavy. 
dropping a mental health episode. Her mother pleading with the operator not to hurt her daughter. She's been mentally having a mental breakdown. She thinks everybody's after her. Hours later. So July 5th, hours before her mother had called and said that she she's giving them a warning saying that she's thinking that everybody's after her. Please don't hurt her. And they still come there and hurt her. Man, it's crazy. At 1249 a.m. on July 6th, Sonia called 911 herself to report a disturbance. It sounds like somebody was banging on the side of my house. I don't know. I'll get y'all come and see. 30-year-old Sean Grayson and his partner responded to the call. The situation quickly escalating when Sonia asked to take a boiling pot of water off the stove. And this is where all the problems occurred at where she allegedly picked up the hot water. That's what they said and, and rebuked him in the name of Jesus. And that's why the cop supposedly felt like he was threatening her, shot her down, dead, whatever. But I still don't see no threat in that. And if, if it was a threat, they should have came there already alarmed, knowing that this has been the situation, it's been in the system. Talked about all 16 hours before the mother, the mother even said something. Even now to the point where they knew that the kids was with the baby dad. Y'all get no comments. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. Y'all feel like Sonya Massey was wrong for this situation, but y'all feel like the officer, officer was, it, is still wrong because he should have handled the situation with better precaution and better training. Like a lot of these comments, they were saying, where did the officer even come from? Then as you dig deep in the situation, you find out the officer had been fired from like at least up to five to six or seven different police training academies and then he landed at this one. The body cam footage shows Grayson shooting Massey, something he has not denied. Grayson is now charged with murder being held without bond and has pleaded not guilty. And Sean Grayson has since been fired. Records show he worked at six police departments in four years. He was also dished. Six, six different police departments in four, four years, my fault. But still that shit don't make, that don't add up. Like, what was they sending? Just, they was testing the rookie out or something? The charge from the army for serious misconduct is now due in court October 21st. And he was discharged. Can't put and he was discharged from the army for doing serious, for doing serious mis misconduct. I understand that, man. It's crazy as hell. Yeah, that's wild. But yeah, I thought I'd just bring y'all the new footage and let y'all know, let y'all see what, what's going on. Let uh, uh, y'all feedback. Let me know what y'all think definitely gonna be coming back live not even if i don't come live i'm definitely gonna be coming back dropping videos but i had to take a little vacation off just to clear my mind get my get my uh my uh thoughts right and everything just just, just to be level with it you know and if you're really there for me to support me then you understand but uh yeah so make sure you hit that like button subscribe share the video out i probably matter of fact i am gonna drop a couple more videos Stay tuned. Look forward to that uh, Rich Homie Crime video. I'll be dropping soon. And something on YBC do. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe, share the video out, support the trenches. Keep rocking trenches, politics, TV, where you know you're only definitely politics from the trenches. Let's get it.